Alrighty folks, it's been a bit of a mad day here at the old shipyards. Um, just got started this morning. Started taking some, some more bits out and just disconnecting things and well before I knew it this uh let me get some light on here. Before I knew it, this thing was actually out of the car. And uh, this was came out very easily with my trusty homemade engine crane that everybody hates. And before I knew it, this thing was actually in there. Now, I just got a battery hooked up temporarily just for spinning it. It's now about uh, 5 o'clock p.m. today. I've been at this since about 10 this morning. Now the main thing that I discovered, I just decided to do a trial fit here just to see how the whole thing would uh, fall into place. Now if we can get in here and hopefully see where the steering rack uh, is positioned here and I could really only see this quite well when I had the engine out and my fear had been that Due to, the, due, due to the fact that we're running a 13 inch motor here um, that the steering rack itself would prevent the motor from actually fitting um, into the engine bay uh, properly and I had made provisions to move this entire uh, drivetrain back uh, until the steering rack there would have cleared the uh, commutator end um, of the motor. Now, that would have been all feasible, but I just decided to have a go this morning and see if the thing had fit. And to my surprise, um, to my surprise, I've got it installed here. Everything's connected up. Um, Gear linkages, drive shaft, uh, all the faldals are connected up. And the motor here, I've got a block of wood just on the. Probably get in there just and see it. I've got a block of wood just on the cross member because I don't have engine mounts hooked up yet. Now, let's see if I can just lower the phone in here. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Just these phones are a bit sensitive. So. I'm hoping we can see in there we really have just maybe about an eighth of an inch clearance in there now between the uh, common cover and the uh, steering rack but an eighth of an inch is plenty for this application so um, got everything in got it all Connected up as it was very simple, uh, just to get just a bit of grunt work to get uh, to get everything bolted into position. Um, car is still up on blocks at the minute here, so we are in, I believe, we are in second gear. Um, all of the gear positions are perfectly normal in there as well, so that tells me that. Um, Kind of tells me that the positioning and the tilt on the gearbox is perfectly fine, and there were no problems uh, when I was connecting up the drive shaft. There wasn't anything tight or pulling or anything like that. So, okay. Um, so I just got a 12 volt battery hooked up. Uh, so I just got a quick wire on here. Ah, go on. You can hear the motor is spinning up, and uh, our trusty back wheels are in motion. So this is a first uh, first time that the old land yacht has uh, had its wheels torn by electromagnetic drive. So have to say that's a bit of a milestone that I wasn't really expecting today. Um, wasn't expecting that at all. Um, 
and uh, so there we go folks bit of an update on a nice um, it's quieting down that V8 so the next part of the plan then will be to uh, fashion mountings uh, to go from the original um, engine mounts there to the two M12 holes on each side that have tapped into the casing and uh, sort out the ECU wiring and all that stuff and uh, get the controller done and I'm not going to keep going because it's, uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a uh, bit of a project um, so yeah that's it we have our uh, location for our taco sensor in there I've just uh, taken that out just in case it got damaged today when I was putting the thing in there but interestingly and uh, I think the point of this is that you can actually squeeze a 13 inch mo motor uh, into an E39 uh, with not a lot of space to spare but enough to um, enough so that you don't have a problem so uh, yeah that's about it everything under the car is pretty standard I'm not going to bother showing showing you guys any of that um, it's all just bolted back together normally put oil in the gearbox and uh, that's it um, so we'll come back when we have the mountings done and uh, starting to figure out a few more uh, bits but uh, yeah so that's it we got an Electric land yacht, guys. Um, which I didn't expect to have that e that easily. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we will be back soon with more fun-packed updates. Stay tuned.